So what part of the human body is long, hard, has a bend in it, and contains the letters (laughs) P-E-N-I-S? I don't know. What? The spine. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Virtually Real. This is Neil. Hi. And he's been in a body for the past hour. Yeah, that's a bit close. <laughs> All they've got is just slowly going towards the penis. <laughs> Hi, Neil. Hi. Thanks for coming over today. Now, we put you on Human Anatomy VR. What were your first impressions? Uh, My first impressions were that it would be very, very useful for a a university-level anatomy student. uh, It really is quite um, in-depth and extensive. It it would be very handy, I would think. The tutorial um, to move around it is quite in-depth. Yes. It took about 30, 40 minutes to work through, lots of reading, lots of having to remember different controls. But once you get once you get into it, it's quite easy to find your way around. Once you get used to it, yeah, it, it was um, – I'm not used to using those um, hand pieces too much. But, um, yeah, it, it would be something that you would pick up quite simply after a while. Okay, so let's start off with um, – it started off with just the skele- the skeletal structure – So it allows you to basically pick out a bone and zoom right into that bone. But also while you're putting out that bone, it gives you a lot of information Mm. about each, each bit you look at. You basically got an info panel that was on your right. Yes. And the kind of hand panel that gives you different functionality Mm. on your left. Mm. So you were a dentist. Yeah. Um, How did you find the information it gives you around the kind of mouth area and the tooth area? Yeah, look, it it, it was um, for for general anatomy. It was uh, it was adequate. It was good. Uh, you do a lot of training. You do a lot of triathlon, and yeah. I saw you were quite interested in the uh, the muscle side of things. Yeah, you find that really interesting. All made sense I did. to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. It was um, uh, yeah. You, it was just able. You, you were able to get really look in detail at the different muscles and how they interact and how they um, how they function and um, how they relate to each other. And it let you go from the full epidermis skin yeah. that you could view and view the whole model, or you could hide the epidermis and you could see the muscles, but not only could you see the muscles, it allowed you to take layers of muscle yes. off. Yeah. So you could really drill down into the tiny muscles behind the big muscles and stuff like that. And it also allowed you to hide certain parts. You could just point at a, an area, turn the hide function on, just hide that. So you could actually really just look at what you wanted yes, to look at. Yeah, yeah. You could be very specific about what, what you want to look at. The other thing we looked at was the animations, where you could choose a, the head or the or the arms or the legs. Yep. And it would actually just do a simple animation of like the elbow going in and out. But you'd also see you'd see where the muscle attaches, so yep. you'd see how that extends and retracts and yep. stuff like that. Yep. Yep. Yet again, super interesting for, mm. as you were doing it, I was just kind of remembering any injury I've ever had going, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I've injured that before. And yes, you yeah, can actually yeah. kind of see where it is. Uh, one of the other things that I found really fun was the quiz section. Yep. <laughs> now, I don't know if Big Brother is watching and listening to us, but I found it very dubious that you got three or four questions about the human math. <laughs> It was, it was a bit sus, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but a nice function. Just, you know, it, yet again, just builds on it. Yeah. If, it's yeah. like you say, if you're a student, if you're studying, well, st- studying any kind of medicine, really, mm. if you're st- studying anything to do with your bones, muscle, the mm. nervous system, mm. um, it's like you say, it doesn't get possibly too in-depth. No. no um, it's a, it's, it is very, it's general anatomy, for sure. Another interesting function is the ant mode, where you can shrink down to uh, a tiny mode and really get inside. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, you went inside the eye. Mm. Uh, you were inside the thorax, I think, at one point, and just looking up into the body, and it really gives you this weird sense it's, of... It is a weird feeling. Yeah, <laughs> this weird kind of <laughs> sense of perspective when you're actually kind of in there. Yeah. I remember a, a film called Inner Space with Dennis Quaid, and I, I, I'm pretty sure there's one in the 70s as well. I can't remember the name of it, where they, they shrink a guy down in a little machine and put it into the 
put it into the oh, human body. Yes, yeah. Do you know the one yeah, I'm talking yeah, about? I know, yeah, vaguely, yeah. I'll insert it here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it kind of, re- that ant mode reminded me of that a little bit. Yeah. And as we were finishing up your time with it, we had a quick look at the cut tool. Yes. Which, yeah. yet again, really kind of interesting. It just gives you a slice of yes. glass almost. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that's that's very interesting. And that's, you know, in in uh, functional anatomy, when you're doing that in in certain courses, that, that's, that's very handy to be able to do that. Now, this game costs around $40-odd value for money. I would, I would say so, yes. Sure. Um, for, for, I think it's mo- the most value or the people who would find it most valuable would be uh, students of anatomy. Yeah. yeah. Or, or just if you re- re- really will. Or, or if you have a general interest in anatomy. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I, 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 I bought it and I've used it a few times and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm, mm. I'm quite happy with my purchase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd certainly, you'd certainly learn things. There's a lot, there is a lot in it and it would take a long time to actually go through everything. <laughs> It's a lot of information. And I think that if I, next time I injure myself and the doctor or the physio says, this is what you've done, I will put the headset back on, <laughs> get in there. Absolutely. And have yeah, a look. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, well, we do this at the end of every virtually reel. We rate the game with two thumbs. So one thumb for how the game looked. What was the content like? Did you enjoy it? And another thumb for whether you would buy it or whether it's not your type of thing. So, throw, and you can have variants. Wherever you want to th- throw your thumbs. Yep, yep. So give me your thumbs now. Oh, I'd give it two. I give it two thumbs as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm a nerd. You're a, you're <laughs> nerds. We're nerds. Sorry. We're nerds. We, we, we geek out on this kind of stuff. That's cool. <laughs> All that's left to say is thank you, Neil, for coming over and thank playing you. Human Anatomy on VR. You're welcome. Thank you at home for watching. Stay virtually real. When the human body dies, what part of the human body dies last? Is this a joke or a, or a real question? It's a real question. <laughs> um, hair? The pupils. The pupils. They dilate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they're, they're, they're terrible. <laughs> I, I know they're terrible. Have you got one for me? Uh, yes, I have. Um, what did the dung beetle say when he walked into a bar? I don't know. Is this stool taken? <laughs> <laughs> That's going in as well. <laughs>